but when I was contacted and asked to represent Cindy at the time she just came out with Girls Just Want to Have Fun and that was my very favorite song oh uh, really yeah she's my favorite artist so I thought wow how cool what is that an yeah honor. yeah big honor and I really really like Cindy she's a wonderful person good hearted she's a beautiful soul she basically gave me a makeover of uh, her and um I went to a uh, vintage boutique in New York City with her and they picked out outfits and you know I was glad I didn't have to carry that darn cowboy hat around because people were wanting to throw their bag on it in the overhead bin on the <laughs> airplane. When Cindy Lauper came into the picture I realized how big it was going to get and, and what the future could be. Having a superstar like that with the number one hit. Uh, I knew that I was entering an era unlike any era before in wrestling. So I'm very humbled by that. I can't thank Cindy Lauper enough. She made Wendy Richter a household name. Right after that, I went to go visit my grandmother and grandfather in Kokomo, Indiana. And um, I was out jogging, I don't know, it was just barely daylight in my grandmother's um, subdivision where she lived and people came up to me then and I thought, wow, I had my hair back in a ponytail jogging <laughs> in Kokomo, Indiana and they knew who I was. So I thought, this is big. Now I'm whistling the Goonies are good enough because that's, that's the inscription that, that uh, Tim requested. That was a fun video. Oh yeah, what are your memories of, of that video? Great video. But I turned my daughter on to that video. It was her favorite video. She was like three and four years old. You know, yeah. you're only on a few seconds, but you're there for like three days, <laughs> all day long. Um, people do not know what you go through to do a few seconds on a video sure. or a movie. Uh, everything the lighting the people everything has to be as perfect as it can be it's fun but it's grueling all day long well, well what was what was the experience like because you know you had wrestled all over the world at that point but you had i'm sure you hadn't been on a major that was a steven spielberg directed music video yeah. which is which is crazy to think about what was that whole experience well, like i was at Sheepops first oh that yeah. was that was before the, yeah. the goodies are good enough okay. yeah and uh i think i was there for two days for that um, Cindy personally teased my hair uh, and it was so teased that when I would get off the set it it took me probably 45 minutes with conditioner in my hair to work out every knot really but I would get it all out because I can't stand the, the feel of uh, hairspray and teasing okay it's crunchy and um it was worth it though. I'll never forget it. Everyone loved Madison Square Garden. But what were some of your other favorite towns to work for the WBF? And you guys are all over the Northeast and then eventually the whole country. Uh, the big cities. Okay. Like Binghamton. Um, I can't remember the other towns. Uh, Poughkeepsie, we did TV tapings there. Okay. Um, I like going to the big cities, the, the, the excitement, the, like the electricity, it was just, there's no adrenaline rush like having tens of thousands of people sure. chanting your name. You know, you could be injured, you don't feel it. You got so much adrenaline going, you don't feel it until you get back to the dressing room. And then it really hits you then. <laughs> But there's so much adrenaline going. It's like Jesse Ventura in the movie, I don't have time to bleed. <laughs> you don't have time to have pain until you get back and, and calm down a little bit. 